Hello there guys and welcome back. I wanted to make this video because mock toes, they're really kind of the darling of the whole heritage Instagram world. You see these things all the time, the mocks and socks posts. They're very popular because they look cool. They're old school. They are definitely workwear inspired. And when you wear a pair of mock toes, it says quite a bit about your style that you actually care about this type of thing, first of all. But secondly, it's sort of a recognition of an older style of shoe construction, the actual moccasin toe construction. Now, let me give you a disclaimer right off the bat. Most of these shoes in here aren't traditional mock toes. So we're actually going with mock toes and mock inspired boots. But let's be fair, you, you don't really care, do you? You just want the look. I don't blame you. This is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go over a bunch of different mock toes. So this way you can save yourself a whole bunch of time on the internet looking around at different types. I'm gonna give you about 15 different options. Hopefully one of these will match your budget and your style. We have quite a bit to cover, so let's get into it. The first one is from Red Wing, and this is the Wakuda model. This is a pretty recent addition to their Heritage line. It comes in at about $199. This uses a very interesting waxed canvas. This is American sourced wax canvas and leather construction, so a combination there. It uses stitch down construction, not welted. It's made in the USA, and these have a really cool, almost 90s kind of throwback style to them. I really think they look great. They look very comfortable, especially with that honey Vibram sole, which I know is a lot softer than the other Vibrams. So you could put this thing on. It's, I think it'll be a perfect casual boot. Next up is another great casual boot from Lem's Shoes. Now this is the leather boulder boot. They also offer this in a bunch of different textiles and leather combinations. Comes in at about $150. Now this definitely uses cementic construction. It has a zero drop, uh, which basically means that there's no heel to it. Your foot is as if it was like flat on the floor. It's lightweight and flexible, and they use a wide toe box. So if you're somebody who's really into more of the sneaker feel and you have a wider foot, this is gonna be perfect for you. If you don't really care about a boot being a boot, this is not workwear, this is just for the look, well, this is a great option for you. Up next is the Santa Rosa Tahoma Moccasin. This comes in at about $280. It uses Goodyear welted construction with a hand-stitched moccasin toe. This is made in the USA, it has a crepe outsole, and this is one that I really wanna try because it looks like it's very traditional, yet it's also made in the USA with some nice components. So there's some really interesting stuff here. Remember in the beginning when I said that not all these boots were going to be moccasin toe construction? Well, the Grant Stone Ottawa is a perfect example of that. It has the mock toe look, and actually it's really kind of a split toe look, but it's Goodyear welted, made in China, $370, but hear me out here. I got my first pair of Grant Stones not too long ago, and I was very impressed with the finishing, the construction, the overall boot itself, and these things look amazing in suede. To be honest with you, I drooled a little bit when I looked these up. Going a little bit in the opposite direction are the Timberland Earth Keepers. Now, these come in at about $120 to about $150, depending on which one you get and where you get it. I don't think they're really worth the money, but if you like the look and the style and the price is okay with you, rock on. I'm not here to tell you what to wear, I'm just showing you some options. Now, these have a lot of pieces of leather stitched onto them. It's a very kind of divisive look. You either like them or you don't, uh, but if you do like them, Go ahead and get a pair. On the opposite end of the spectrum is the Visvim Grizzly boot. Now, these are hard to find. Uh, the only thing I could find was one where they were sold out. They come in at about $1,500. Now, these are very interesting. You can tell they're kind of a statement boot. But what's cool about them is there's a hand-sewn, hand-stitched construction element to them. You can tell that they're slightly imperfect and they look like they were made in a workshop somewhere, which they actually were, they're hand-sewn. So if you can find a pair of these and they're your bag, I don't think there's anything out there that really comes close to this look, this very, very hand-sewn look. Pretty interesting stuff. Up next is the Climber Boot from Rancourt. Now these come in at $320. They're available in either Horween Chrome XL or Bison Leather. These are made in Maine, USA, and a lot of people, when they think of Rancourt, they think of these boots. I have yet to try some for myself, but I look forward to the day when I get a pair. Up next is what I would argue is the most iconic mock toe boot, and that's the Red Wing mock toe and the Red Wing Roughneck. Now, these come in that's just under 300 bucks, 
and you can get a couple different versions of each. So you could either get the Red Wing Heritage version, which I actually own and I really like quite a bit. There's also the Red Wing Work version, which has a little bit bigger of a toe box, a lot thicker wedge on the bottom. And then the Roughneck actually uses a lugged out sole. These are made in the USA. When most people think of a, of a mock toe boot, this is what they're thinking of. And there's other cool options like different colors of leather, like the blue or the orange and different limited editions of these things. There's plenty to choose from. So if you like the Red Wing look and you like the Red Wing construction, it's hard to go wrong. Next is the Thorogood six inch tobacco Mokto for about 200 bucks. These are Goodyear welted. They use oil tanned leather. They're made in the USA. And from what I've heard, this is a very soft boot, a very nice boot to wear. This is gonna be kind of the nicer version of your work boots. You may not wanna put these through the rigors of a very you know, hard construction site, but if your job consists of a little bit less than that, these might be perfect. Next is the Yucatan 5i boots at $420. These use a natural crepe sole. They have sort of a monk strap and a lace closure. They're made in the USA and they're definitely unique. There's no doubt about it. These look really, really cool. Some people are gonna like them, some people aren't. But then again, just giving you options here. These I think look really interesting. Main Mountain Moccasin has their Scout Boot at $335. These are really, really cool. Hand sewn in Maine, USA. They use American leather, a lot of different American components, trying to source locally, domestically. They are Blake stitched, so that's something to keep in mind. But I think these look really, really cool. Something that's a little bit different, a little bit unique. And uh, I really want to get my hands on some. The Thursday Diplomat at $199 is a very interesting option. These are made in Mexico. They use a Vibram Christie wedge. They are Goodyear welted, of course. But at $199, I mean, I, these have gone through quite a change from the beginning. The original Diplomats look a lot more like the Ottawa boot, and they've definitely transitioned more towards like the Red Wing style. So if you like the Red Wings, but you can't exactly afford that $300 price point, well, for $199, it's kind of hard to go wrong here. The Danner Bull Run at $199 is an awesome option. Now these use Danner's own wedge sole. They use stitch down construction and they're made in the USA. So this is a boot that I feel like I really slept on because if somebody had asked me about three different options of moccasin toe boots, I probably wouldn't have mentioned the Danner Bull Run. But looking at this, this stitch down construction, as long as that upper is made out of some decent leather, I think it's a great option and definitely one that at 190 bucks, that's pretty damn good. Next is a brand that I'm probably going to butcher the name of. That's the Olukai Kohala boot. And I think that was right. Now, if that sounds Hawaiian, that's because they're very tied to the Hawaiian sort of feel. Now, I don't think these are actually made in Hawaii. And matter of fact, I doubt it if they actually were, but Every purchase does go to benefit a Hawaiian charity which supports the Hawaiian culture. They're very interesting. These are water resistant leather. They appear to be Goodyear welted, but it's really hard to tell if I don't see them in person. But if you like this look, if you like this style, they could be yours for just about 200 bucks. Now, finally, because I know people in the comments are gonna say, hey, these are supposed to be work boots. You guys are co-opting work boots for style. They're not supposed to be like that. Okay, well, how about this? Here you have the Carhartt six inch wedge boot. Now, these use a very interesting sole, Carhartt's own sole, which on the outside looks like a wedge, like a Christie wedge. However, if you look underneath it, it has a little bit more of a lugged kind of look to it. And so I think you're gonna get a little bit more traction. I haven't actually used them myself, but it looks like a very interesting combo sole. Now these come in both steel toe and non-steel toe. If you're looking to actually put these things to work, well, these waterproof six inch wedge mock toe boots are dedicated work boots. So if you're into that kind of thing, that's what you're looking for, there you go. Now, of course, this list can't contain all of the mock toe boots that are out there, but I hope that I gave you a nice cross section of what's available and saved you a little bit of time out there looking at all these on the internet and instead put a whole bunch in one video for you to check out. If I did forget your favorite mock toe boot, please let me know in the comments below or if there's one that I completely forgot here that people should know about, do me the favor of just letting people know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.